Yeah, I don't think we want to keep that. Okay, I'm going to test out my SWRs today. I've been listening to this for a little while. There's a lot of skip out there. Meaning the ionosphere is causing conditions that I'm uh, hearing stuff from all over the country. Um, just heard Chicago, Illinois coming in there pretty clear. So uh, let's go ahead and test our SWRs. I don't expect any change whatsoever. My reading before... I changed the antenna, was down around one on both meters, the stock meter and the aftermarket meter, and that's what you want. On a scale to one to ten, it's actually over here, not there. Uh, on a scale to one to three, where the SWR meter is at, you want as close to one as possible. So let's go ahead and test. I'm going to test on channel one here, so. Uh, we're going to keep key it up and calibrate it here. There we go. Now we turn it to SWR and key it up. And it just barely moved the needle down here. It's, uh, it's well below 1.5. So now let's run up here and we're going to use this meter up here now. I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to calibrate it. Key it up. All right. Now we'll see what the reading is. Oh, as you can see, it's very, very low. Very low there. That's that's a wonderful, great SWR reading. Okay. Now we'll go up to 20 here. On the bayou, I don't know quite where the bayou is at, but it's booming in here loud and clear. It's somewhere back east. Okay, channel 20. Let's calibrate it. There's our SWR reading. It's pretty low. Now let's go upstairs here to this meter. Calibrate it. Now we're reading it, and again, it's very, very low. It's a little bit higher than before. <clears throat> now we'll run all the way up here to channel 40. And we'll calibrate it. Again, working the meter down below here. And it's pretty low. It looks like it might be a little higher there. So now we'll run upstairs, calibrate this. And it's still low, but it actually went up a little bit more. So I know that means something significant. If from channel 1 to channel 40, your, your, your meter changes, goes up a little bit higher as you go through the channels, that means that either the antenna is too long or too short on one end i'm not sure which but uh, 
The fact is that the readings are good all the way around, so this this antenna could be adjusted a little bit more. I'd have to to check it out some and find out exactly if I'd have to shorten the 102 inch whip, maybe take the spring out or or whatever. If my radials are too short or too long, I I don't know. Um, as I stated before in my first video, having a base station antenna for my house is not what I'm planning to do. Um, this radio is intended completely to be mounted in my truck. I just didn't want to fool with that right now as uh, it's winter time here and uh, I don't want to be outside working on it. And I really wanted to experiment with building my own ground plane antenna just for the heck of it. Using stuff I had around my house here, I got practically no money into the setup I got up there on my roof so um at this point i'm i think i'm just going to leave it like this and play around with it for the next month or so till the weather really gets nice and i can get out there and start working on getting this thing mounted in the truck getting the antenna mounted whether it's going to be the 102 inch wire whip or another antenna i have um that's that's my full intention so uh You'll probably notice by watching the video that my ground plane antenna outside is not very high. I can't go any higher with it because it doesn't have a base mount. It, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, the the thing has to be mounted from the ground up. Uh, there needs to be about a 12 foot piece of pipe from the ground going up to where I'm at and then beyond. That is the proper way to do it. Uh, if I was going to put some money into this thing, I could build a really nice antenna out there. I could get it dozens of feet above the roof of my house. If I really want to, I'd have to have guide wires and everything. But it would absolutely require the antenna to be mounted to the ground instead of just on the side of the house. And by the way, it is grounded. The antenna is grounded to a to a eight foot grounding rod pounded in the ground right there at the corner of the house. It's, uh, it does have a ground. Otherwise my SWRs would be really messed up. So um, anyway, that's my intentions to, uh, to uh, get this thing mounted in the pickup truck here in the next two months or something as spring comes along and get out there and have some fun with that. So. Uh, Gonna cruise through the channels here, see if I can find some local contacts. I'm gonna fool around with sideband a little bit too. Uh, lower sideband, that's, uh, I believe it's the FM side of this radio. Right now we're on AM. So somebody correct me on that if, if I'm wrong, but I believe 40 channel is AM and the 120 channel is FM single side band uh, that's my understanding but i'm not 100 uh, percent sure so let's go ahead and play around with this thing <laughs> 